So this question looks like a translate word problem question, just given the length of the question itself. So let's read it and see what uh, quantitative information I can pull out of it. So this question says a group of friends decided to divide the $800 cost of a trip equally among themselves. So we know we have $800. And we know we're dividing this equally among some number of friends, right? Which I'll call X. X friends. When two of the friends decided not to go on the trip, so that means we're going to have X minus two, those remaining still divided the $800 cost equally, but each friend's share of the cost increased by $20. Okay, so if each of these friends, in this case, were paying, let's say, $8, right, when we divided it by X friends, now, instead, when we get rid of, let's say, these two, they'll be paying a plus $20. So hopefully that visual makes some sense. So this is the X minus two scenario. They'd pay whatever they were gonna pay up here, which I represented by A, plus an additional 20 bucks because these two friends decided not to go. How many friends were in the group originally? Okay, so this really is set up, this is kind of funny because it, it, it feels like a plug in your own number question because I have these two scenarios, right, that are based upon the number of friends, but I don't know the number of friends. If I knew the number of friends, this would be a very easy question. Um, obviously, it wouldn't be able to be asked in the same way because obviously I'm being asked for the number of friends here, but I still have the feeling of like a plug in your own number type of question. So the translation part here will look something like 800 divided by X, right, would equal some Y value, but 800 divided by X minus 2 would equal that same Y value, but plus 20. And definitely we can, you know, simplify these equations, maybe think of this as a system of equations where we could use substitution, because I have this y value isolated over here, and then, you know, solve for x at the end of it. However, I'm going to really explore this plug in your own number idea, right? So this is how this works for this particular question. What if we said there were 20 friends, right? And if you're going to plug your own number in, use whole, like use good numbers or nice numbers. Uh, you know, I wouldn't use like, oh, well, there's 17 friends, although that's perfectly fine. That might be the right answer, but I like to start off with, you know, whole, maybe multiples of 10 numbers that are going to be easy to split up. So if there were 20 friends and you're splitting the $800, then each friend, right, would pay $40. However, if we now moved this to there being only 18 friends, right, because two of them decided not to go, then 800 divided by 18, let's go to the calculator. 800 divided by 18, that ends up being $44.44. So by removing these two friends here, each friend pays an additional $4.44. Now, don't forget, we want each friend to pay an additional $20. So this tells me that 20 friends is, is off, right? So let's do another number. Let's try, let's try 40 friends. So if there were 40 friends, what would happen? Each would pay $20, right? Because 800 divided by 40 is 20. And if we said, okay, well now there's only gonna be 38 friends, we could then say, okay, well what is 800 divided by 38? Again, go to my calculator. And what I get here is 2105. So again, an addition of $1.05. So what happened? When I started at 20, I got only a $4.44 uptick. When I moved up to 40, I got only a $1.05 uptick, which means I actually should go down from 20, right? Going up is only making this difference go down. So let's erase what I have here, and let's move down to, let's say, 10 friends, half of that 20 that we started out with. So if I had 10 friends, 800 divided by 10 will give me $80. So that's how much each friend would be paying initially. 
if we move down to there only being eight friends who decided to go, 800 divided by 80 would equal, um, I'm sorry, 800 divided by eight would equal $100. And look, so from 80 to 100 is an additional $20. So we actually found it. So our answer here is that there were originally, right, because how many friends were in the group originally, there originally were 10 friends, so the answer should be 10. I prefer this way because each step of the process, I know what I'm looking for. I'm using the wording in the in the question to base like how I think about each thing, right? When I had 20, I was like, okay, well, that's only an additional $4.40. I moved up to 40 friends. Okay, that was only an additional dollar or something. So then that tells me I should move down to 10. Or maybe you wouldn't have done 10. Maybe you would have done 15 or you would have done five. At any rate, you eventually find the number that you're looking for. The system of equations method works just as well, but I think you know most students, I would imagine, feel a little bit more comfortable with more of a plug in your own number kind of method here. Um, and it's a little bit more out of the box, right? So I wanted to use this video to show you this method instead of a more traditional system of equations method, just to show you that there are times and many times when you have a question where there's like a, you know, I wish I knew this number that is the key to answering a question. A lot of the times, if you don't have any other way to do it, at least, just make up a number, at least that gets you in the game, gets you started, gets you from just staring at the question without knowing what to do, and helps you to figure out, okay, am I too high? Am I too low? How can I narrow myself down to figuring out the correct answer.